Yo, what's going on guys? Johnny the Bear Guy here. Today we are going to talk about Bira Morelli. Moretti. Bira Moretti. This is a Italian beer. Ooh, I love me some Italian food. I'll tell you what. Italian food and Italian beer. Taking my wife out to, uh, not an Italian restaurant, but uh, to Perry's tonight. I don't know why I mentioned that, but uh, it reminded me of food since it says recipe since 1859. Um, but yeah, the linguinis and pastas and spaghetti, all that good stuff with the Italian uh, beer. Land of wine too. Italy has some good wines to it. Uh, the Italian passion for brewing, Bira Moretti. L'authentica, I bet you that means authentic in Italian. Authentic recipe since 1859. Premium lager imported from Italy. Premium lager. The Italian passion for brewing. Let's see here. 11.2 fluid ounces, so not even a can of beer here. Let's see what the alcohol volume is. Alcohol percentage. I cannot, uh, didn't say. Interesting. Not that I can see. Hmm. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, lager, so it's going to be light, I would think. Sometimes it surprises me. It looks nice and clean. Definitely can see through it. Great head to it. Perfect. One to two inches. Nice and brown, not brown, amber, eh, not amber, beerish, beer color, lager color. Let's have a taste. Ah, oh yeah. This is your classic light beer taste. Got a nice, good maltiness to the end but nothing too serious oh man this is a good first beer right here ah, after hard day's work I would definitely suggest the beer uh, Moretti beer Moretti can't say it too long today but uh, like I said I'm taking my wife out if you're married, make sure you take your wife out every so often, especially uh, for her birthday and stuff, you know, Christmas, whatever. Uh, thank, uh, Valentine's Day, that kind of thing, you know. It's always good to keep that relationship up, but it's not a relationship show, it's a beer show. So anyway, but good advice is still good advice, no matter what show it is. Um, kind of know what I'm talking about. I've been married for 20 years, so bam! I do know how to keep the woman happy. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> nah, man, I'm just kidding. Hopefully she doesn't see this. Um, so, hmm. Good, easy drinking. Oh, man. That's good, easy drinking. Nothing too fruity, nothing too hoppy. Just good. Nice lager. Let's see here. It's weird. It's 11.2 fluid ounces. That, oh, okay. 4.6% alcohol right there. Um, so, not bad at all. Uh, a little bit uh, stronger than our light beers. A little bit weaker than our full-bodied uh, beers like Budweiser. Um, Budweiser's 5. This is 4.6. Bud Light's what? Like 3.2 or something like that. Um... 139 calories, 11 carbs, so not too bad. Zero fat, two grams of protein. Um, it's interesting, though. I have noticed that the foreign beers are not real. I mean, the, this bottle seems so small. Uh, it's because they're ripping us off a 0.8 of an ounce. This is 11.2 fluid ounces. A can of beer here is 12 ounces, so go figure. I don't know. 
Maybe it's a foreign thing. Maybe it's, you know, the milliliter thing or the ounce. They don't really do ounces. I guess they have to. Oh, I don't know. You know, metric system. I don't know. Whatever. But that, my friends, is a very good beer. I'll have to give that a thumbs up. Beer Moretti. That's a nice, good, light beer. Full flavored. I'll say full flavored. It does have a little bit of a, um, I mean, I want to say Italian taste. You know, you know how the Germans beers, you can kind of get the German beer um, kind of skunky. Not, you know, I don't want to say skunky. It's kind of negative, but German beer is known for the skunky stuff. That's kind of why I don't drink too much Heineken and that kind of thing. But, uh, but, don't get me wrong, I love me some German beers, some good German beers, but um, this has a little bit of an Italian aftertaste, an Italian aftertaste, a little bit of a malty, a little bit of hoppy, but no, nothing, I mean, smooth, easy drinking. Excuse me, wow. So this is brewed and bottled by Heineken Italia. That explains it, Heineken Italia. Heineken has a little bit of, it kind of tastes, it's got a little bit of splash of Heineken flavor. That little um, twang, a little twang at the end, yeah. Uh, come on, Nuovo, Italy. Um, imported by uh, Five Points Trading Company, White Plains, New York. Product of Italy, B Bira Moretti Lager. Got a phone number, got an uh, email address. Excellent. Beer Moretti. It's a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. No chicken for me. I think I'm going to do a pork chop. Oh, yeah. Um, Perry's is known for their four finger pork chop. It's, uh, I mean, it's huge. I, I, I'm going to put it, I'll, <laughs> I'm going to put a picture of it here. So you guys can see it. I mean, it is awesome, man. So if you ever go to Perry's, I'm not, I'm not sponsored by Perry's or anything, but uh, I'll definitely get the pork chop. Their, their steaks are good, too. They got the big old uh, Fred Flintstone steak that you whack somebody over the head and kill them with. <laughs> but uh, good beer. Uh, I'll probably have a beer there, too. I might, I might do it. I'm not going to do a video because I'm taking my wife out there for, um, for a celebration. But... Uh, That's good stuff. Good stuff. Mm, good beer. So, I give it a thumbs up. You try it. You let me know if you give it a thumbs up or not. I, I imagine you will. This isn't uh, one of those weird, heavy, bad tastes in beers. But let me know what you think about it. Put a comment in the box. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification to get all these beer videos. I always like hanging out with you, enjoying it. Thank you a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, happy drinking. Peace.